Hey there, aloha. So I recently purchased a website, and not just any website, it's a famous internet marketer's website. And I bought it for a whopping $1,755, and it makes $39 a month. So, why did I buy it, and what are my plans for it? In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you all of that, kind of the story behind the website itself. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's get into it. So Bo here, and in this channel I share with you scenes from Hawaii while I talk about internet marketing, creating passive income with niche websites and related topics. So if you follow along, I'm gonna hop over here to my computer and share with you kind of the backstory behind buying this website. Okay, so I actually bought this website from motioninvest.com. It's an online marketplace where you can buy and sell profitable websites, as it says here. And it's something that this this marketplace is actually fairly new. I believe they they started within the last year or so. And this is actually the second website I've bought from them. So I'm pretty happy with my first first site I bought from them. And what uh, what Motion Invest is known for is selling websites on the smaller end of of uh, price. So you know you can find websites well under fifty thousand dollars. Usually the most expensive sites I've seen on here has been about 50 uh, there's a lot under 10 and the two sites i bought were you know this site at 1755 dollars and then the other site i bought was just just a little over 2000 so if you take a look you can see here what sites are available and as of right now looks like there's one two three four sites available and the, and the most expensive site is fourteen thousand dollars so Again, if you you know you have a smaller budget, you're looking to get your niche passive on income online business started, uh, this is a great place to consider uh, kickstarting your business. Okay, so you can see here in my email, this is an email that dropped in my inbox just a few days ago on Friday, November 27th. They were teasing something big, so you can want to give you a heads up that we're going to be dropping something before that we've never seen. So no early deals, you'll have to wait and see. So. I looked at this, I was like, okay, yeah, they're probably going to be selling some sites or offering a discount. So I was, I was, you know, I've been checking the site, you know, pretty regularly once every other couple of days. And, you know, I was curious to see what, what they had on offer. And what, what happened was, is, is actually pretty interesting, was that I, I noticed in some of the other niche website, YouTubers were kind of talking about how it was rumored that they were selling eight sites and then... <laughs> The other thing funny was that a very prominent niche website personality by the name of John Dykstra, who runs the Fat Stocks blog, uh, mentioned that he was selling eight sites. So people started to connect the dots and think, well, maybe John Dykstra is selling some of his sites. And that really excited me. And I was like, well, hmm, I'd really like to pick up one of those sites if I could. You can see right at the top, it talks about how he bootstrapped his $5 investment into a $40,000 a month per month online content publishing business. I believe he's well over $70,000 per month now. So this is kind of an old, you know, lead magnet. But I definitely encourage you to check out his blog, check out his, he has a course that's actually, huh, he offered the course to whoever buys his websites on Motion Invest, which I'll talk about a little bit more. But definitely check out Fat Stock's blog if you're interested in niche websites. John is definitely an authority in the space. Okay, so this is an email that went out early Friday morning uh, from Fat Stacks from John Dykstra here. And it's something that talks about, confirmed the rumor that yes, indeed, he was selling his eight sites on Motion Invest. So I started checking Motion Invest very every 10, 20 minutes or so uh, until they finally listed the, the websites. There was eight of them. And I was able to actually purchase the most inexpensive one, which was listed at 1755. It's the eLaw site I'm going to show here in a minute. But what's funny is like right after I purchased that site, the site crashed. Nobody else was able to buy any other of the other sites. So I think I got pretty lucky. But um, yeah, so let's go take a look at the site. Okay, so this is the site that I purchased for $1,755. It's elawtalk.com. You can see it's a pretty simple design. And the content is kind of all over the place. This looks like a hodgepodge of things relating to business, law, insurance, uh, criminal justice, and so forth. And one of the reasons I bought this site is it is on a theme that I'm familiar with. It's on the Bimber theme. Uh, it's a theme that actually John Dykstra talks about a lot that he uses for all of his sites. Uh, it's great for, for social 
social media. Um, it, and it's just very simple, very clean. So this is something that I, I checked out when I when I purchased the site, or actually before I purchased the site, was the Google PageSpeed Insights. Now, most of you are probably familiar with this. Uh, if you're not, you definitely should be. It's Google's basically speed check on your site. It just tests a whole bunch of things. And what's really important about this is that Google has said in very clear language that early next year, early 2021, they're going to be uh, coming out with, uh, you know, an algorithm update that's going to, you know, take into consideration this core web vitals. So a score like 23, you know, it looks like it might be affected by that update. So I saw that and I was like, oh, that's something that needs to be approved, improved, I should say, desktop score 49. So, you know, again, this is something that I'm going to work on, something I'm going to improve. You know, there's different plugins, plugins like WP Rocket, um, Nitro, something or other, WP Total Cache. All these plugins can help your, your your site speed, help your caching, all these things. So here's another tool that I like to look at when I'm considering my own sites as well as sites that I might purchase, and that's Moz's domain analysis tool. So I ran elawtalk.com through their domain analysis, and you can see it's got a domain authority of 21, which isn't bad. Uh, it's actually fairly okay, uh, especially for a site that's... Uh, you know, this inexpensive. My own site that's, you know, probably worth in the $150,000 range also has a domain authority of around 21 or 22. So I think that that says a lot. It's got 149 linking root domains, 253 ranking keywords. You know, all this is, is actually, um, I feel very optimistic about it. I'm actually pretty excited. Um, you can see it has some top, some linking domains with domain authorities as high as in the 90s. So I saw this, this was pretty compelling. So here's an example of an affiliate program that I might apply for. It's a Rocket Lawyer. And I think they pay something like $28 per referral to their service. Um, there's a ton of these uh, Legal Shield, Legal Zoom, um, all sorts of these affiliate programs to look into and, you know, again, figure out ways to promote on this new site. The other thing that I really want to focus on, and this is something that I highly recommend, targeting bar buyer intent. So, you know, the way that I've made most of my money on my other sites is through targeting buyer intent keywords and posts or, you know, best posts, listicles, you know, there's different names for them, uh, buyer's guides, etc. So this is an example of, you know, something that a little, little bit of a light bulb that went off when I, when I saw this site was, this is an example of 10 shoes for nurses. So you can see here it's, you know, blah, blah, blah. These are, you know, nurses feet hurt, et cetera, et cetera. And here are some recommended shoes that nurses would be you know, it would be great for nurses. So, you know, I can do the same thing for police officers, police officer boots, police officer shoes. What are the best gifts for police officers? What are the gifts, best gifts for lawyers? You know, there's so many ideas for, you know, these types of buyer intent keywords. You know, the other the other type of uh, buyer intent keywords that you might look at is, you know, product A versus product B, police baton A versus police baton B. So there's really just an infinite amount of content that I can add to this site. And these best posts being, again, a very low-lying fruit that I think can focus a lot of the uh, effort on. So back to the website itself and why I purchased the site and what opportunities I see for growth and my plan for what I'm going to be doing to you know, make more money from this site. So again, with the content being so all over the place, there's really so many topics that can be covered in terms of articles that could be written. I think what I'm really going to be focusing on are a couple different types of posts and take kind of deep dives into specific topics. Now, one of the things is the site is monetized um, with ads right now. The site looks like it's pretty much only ads as well as some Amazon associates, you know, only making $39 a month. I think it's very under monetized and something that I'm going to focus on a lot just in the topic that the site covers is going to be affiliate stuff. So there are any, you know, things relating to law, insurance, things like that. And I also have a kind of a background in terms of lead generation. So companies, insurance companies, lawyers will pay a lot of money for leads. So I'm going to put a lot of focus into trying to write articles that uh, generate leads for, you know, again, insurance companies, local law offices and that sort of thing. And I think that's really going to uh, take this site to a whole nother level. Um, and again, just, just get really focused with the content right now. It's just, I think, way too all over the place. And yeah, so that's the plan in a nutshell. Pretty excited about this purchase and I'm excited to see where, where this goes. 
And the last thing I just wanted to show you, wanted to talk about was I recently signed up for this service called Clever Ghosts. It's something that was actually referred by John Dykstra himself. It's a service that provides, uh, it's a writing service. So it's, it's a very, <clears throat> excuse me, inexpensive writing service. So I signed up for the plan, basically the unlimited plan, they call it, for, for agencies. You know, being that I have currently you know, five niche sites, uh, I felt like this was something that I could definitely use. They are offering a 70% off coupon right now. Um, I'll, I'll provide a link down in the, in the description below. But it's one of these things that, again, you know, they give you unlimited copywriters, unlimited blog posts, unlimited content requests, etc. It's uh, $750 a month, so it is it is quite a big investment. But um, John was saying that he gets he gets content for about two cents a word, and the content that these this company is putting together is exceptional. So I'm excited to see you know how it turns out, how the content goes, and um, you know, again, I'm going to have them write a lot of uh, content for this new site. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please do give me a like, uh, subscribe. Uh, you really be helping me out. And until next time, aloha.